Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this. I would call it an ornament. And I'm just using squiggles. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's just a like this. And, and there's some listed on Epilogue's Facebook page. But I took one out and I, I cut out one that I thought would look the best. And that one right there, and it would because it would kind of join with the other ones. So we're going to group that together, control G, and we're just going to set it up here out of the way. And now we're going to draw two circles. I'm going to hold down the control button so I get an equal circle. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. Now I'm going to hit control D to make a duplicate, and I'm going to hold down my shift key, and I'm going to bring it out. And what that does, it brings it out equally from the center. So, and you can do this a number of ways, but I'm going to take the two point line. I'm going to move around till it gets, till it says the center. I'm going to hold down the control button. And I'm going to go straight up. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to put my rotation to the center. Now, a lot of times it doesn't look like it's in the center, but if you do it again, you can see it's in the center down there. Now I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees. Now I'm going to make another duplicate and I'm going to rotate this one 330 degrees. So we've got a 60 degree part here. A little easier way is just to color fill that in. Now let's get back to our squiggle. And we could probably make it a little bit bigger. Then go up to, let me zoom in here. Let me go up to the effects envelope tool and hit the eyedropper and click on your grayed out area and then hit apply. So what it's done is kind of turn that into a curve. Let's get rid of our grayed out area. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and put that in the center of the page. And then I'm going to start moving and hold down the shift key to get it pretty close to my envelope. That's not bad. I've got my nudge distance set on point zero zero one, so I can just gradually move it up. You just don't want it kind of not touching any red part of the line, but it doesn't really matter. We can get rid of the envelope tool. And now we need to go to a range transformation rotation and we're going to double click on this and tell it to put it from rotate from the center and then I would just double click on it again a lot of times you get the shape tool and we're not quite in the center that time let's zoom in here double click and let's move that rotation to the center now we're going to rotate it 60 degrees and we need five copies because we would need six. So the one is already done. Just hit apply. So it's already made our ornament. It's a pretty nice one because they're not really touching. They won't be in the way. Now I would make the, the circles a little bit bigger. So if you hold down the shift key and just expand it out a little bit, let go of the shift key, grab your inner circle, hold down your shift key. And what that doing is taking it from the middle. We can get rid of this now. Let's zoom in here a little bit on the ornament. Now we need to make some way to hold it. So I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. And I'm going to put it in the center of the page. Now this time you can hold down the control button and it'll bring it to the top. Now just because I've done this before, change your nudge factor like two inches and get rid of this just down two inches for a second because it is going to interfere with your virtual segment delete key because it'll stop with those lines. Now you can very easily move it back the two inches. Now we need to cut a hole for the twine or whatever and it'll tell you when you're in the center. And there it is, ornament done. And you don't have to, you wouldn't have to cut out the inside circle you know, you could delete the inside circle and put some more engraving there. 
uh, Merry Christmas, and if these were hollies or other things, but that's one I picked under squiggles. So if you go to Epilogue's Facebook page and just search in their file, uh, Jeanette, or Jeanette Brewer with the Engraving Concept is, uh, was kind enough to add these squiggles that she found off the internet. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.